Hello and welcome um, to mathematics and uh, yeah I'd like to answer any questions and um, yeah as long as you have a switch user you can just post them in the chat um, yeah uh, although I haven't got actually gotten any questions which is fair enough since I posted about this three hours ago um, and that's why I'd like to just talk really I uh, guess I'll do this and become big. Yeah. Um, what's interesting? Um, yeah. So I should probably tell something about myself. And uh, I've studied maths for one and a half years, something like that. I really like it. But um, yeah. And and what's to like about it? That's I suppose the question. I'll talk about why maths is fun. Um, no, uh, the strength of mathematics. And. Uh, yeah. So, so. Yeah, and it uh, sort of relates to the whole question of um, why do we need to learn this? Because let's be honest, it's one of the greatly answered, uh, greatly asked questions. Um, why do we? Th why do we even bother about this? But I do think there's some some things that gives mathematics value. Uh, yeah, of course there is. Why would we be learning it if not? Um yeah. In short terms, the thing I think that makes maths great and what makes it really something worth learning is the ability to generalize. Um you know because we don't really appreciate that, I don't think. Not very much at least. Uh how strong that actually is. Uh I mean this. Uh, these are four things. Um, yeah, I'm down here in the corner. This corner, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, mathematics allows us to, to think about these things um, yeah, in a different way, because these are four lines. And uh, they're not very interesting, really. But, uh, yeah. Whereas, if we took, for instance, four cows, they'd be more interesting. You know, you can get food from them and stuff. But, um yeah then the mathematics bit is thinking about it as a general th general thing um yeah and we get a concept of just four and not four cows or four lines when we have this general uh, sort of thinking about something um, we get certain abilities yes for instance we get the ability to add things and um yeah and when we have four lines and and we want to add four more lines we don't actually have to draw them or if we have had four cows and someone gave us four more cows we wouldn't have to you know count them all to know there's eight we just say well four plus four that's eight doesn't matter if it's lines or cows or um, well pencils anything really uh, yeah and yeah and this in general this general way of thinking is mm, it it does a, l a lot i think it it makes us capable of capable of a lot of things yeah and um uh i'd like to talk about functions oh this is the wrong button here we go uh yeah and uh mm, you may have heard this before function is sort of like a machine uh uh oh yeah I do speak English yeah as you'd probably know so yeah and I can answer in English as well so I want to draw a machine something like that yeah sure that that makes it up for a machine and you may have seen this picture before if someone wanted to teach you about um functions yeah so and I think this is the way mathematicians like actual professional mathematicians not just uh um everyone or me or you know anyone uh thinks about it it's sort of like this something comes in and something comes out this is the wrong way uh -huh. something comes in something comes out yeah 
and usually well uh, this doesn't look very mathematic not not very mathematic at all but um, it actually is really mathematic or it has a lot of strength yeah and I think I'd like to write something over here oh, shit. just did this and that yeah usually we use this notation the function of x uh, I can't really point at my screen, that doesn't make any sense I'll just use this um, the function of x equals something it could be, let's take an easy one ah, that's three, 3 times x plus something it could be 7 brilliant number uh, yeah so you'd probably be familiar with this sort of thing uh, you put something in well, this is just a linear function. I mean, I have no clue what your level is, but assuming you've finished, you know, basic schooling, uh, primary school, you would know this. You you would uh, maybe even by heart know functions of this kind. Um, yeah, of course, there's many kinds of functions, but the important thing, and f this goes for all of the more mathematical functions, is that. Um, it takes a number and a number comes out. So a, a number goes in, a number comes out. And um, yeah, yeah, this is a machine really. And this is where I'd like to ask you questions. Yeah, because if I put in, uh, yeah, if I put in a number, f uh, let's use the proper f, f function of, let's say three. Yeah. Um, this function, which is the one I've written over here, and what I'd asked was for the, for the function of 3. Um, that would make 9 plus 7, which would be 16. Yeah, so in this, I would like to call this a machine. And if, uh, if you not think this is terrible, if you do not think this is terribly below your level, I'd like you I like to ask you to consider this a machine that takes something in and puts something out this specifically takes in an x and puts out uh, a value and another a y would some say some would say um yeah another number so what mathematicians like to do uh, and this is where mm -hmm, they like they some of them like to see it like this So this, these are the real numbers. Uh, which basically means all numbers. And these are real numbers. So you go from from the real numbers into the real numbers. The real numbers into the real numbers. Yeah. Um, then of course there's uh, different types of functions th that would go from because not all functions go from the real numbers into the real numbers. For instance, if you did the square square root function, uh, this is where Paint will at some point eventually fail me. Uh, a square root sign will not be easy. <coughs> yeah, tiny square root sign. Uh, yeah, this function, for instance, would not take, would not go from the real numbers into the real numbers. No, it wouldn't. It would go from. This is where. I like some more space. This function would go from. Yeah, you may have guessed it. The positive numbers, because you can't take the square root of anything negative. It goes from. Ah, mm. I'd like to use some notation here. I will. Yeah. I won't. Will I? Won't I? No, I won't. Uh, 
Yeah, this is where it go. You can't take the square root. And I hope there's no one who's done imaginary numbers or complex numbers here. But <laughs> and um, and when you take do take the square root of something, you can't get a negative number. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like the square root of 16 is 4 um, and you couldn't yeah, and you couldn't get a negative number well some would say that you get both a negative and a positive, num positive, positive number but I mean, yeah, let's stick to the positive, yeah and I in that case it doesn't matter, we'll just change this to all real numbers and yeah it'll be pretty much the same. The point is that it goes from one set, is the proper mathematical term, term, into another set. Well, it's the same set, but you know, it's from one into the other. Now comes uh, the thing where I make it unmathematical again, because this is mm, somewhat mathematical. It's not the, the classic sense w in which we think of it, but it's still... Uh, it's, it's still, yeah, proper maths. So, um, oh yeah, function. Uh, yeah, I had a 2 t today, uh, a guy, a tutor, and I talked to him about functions. And uh, I, I tried to make this point that um, function, functions are not just functions of numbers, they could be functions of anything. Because um, it's just a machine that changes something into something else. For instance, you could take a car washing machine. It's a machine that, that takes a car and does something to it and spits out another car. So you could say that it would go from um, not the realm of positive numbers to the po realm of positive numbers, but you could say that it went from, uh, and this is where it gets, well, it's, I guess it's math, it's not the classical maths, but it's, you know, close enough. Um, it goes from all cars, because, I guess, because uh, you can wash all cars, from the realm of all cars into the realm of clean cars. Yeah, This is a function that takes in a car and spits out the car. Um, you could do another one, yeah, because these are funny. Uh, you could do a, a car painting machine that would, oh I guess, uh, that would again go from the r uh, realm of all red cars to mm, let's say the realm of red the uh, the realm of all cars into the realm of red cars if it was a red one yeah or it could paint them in random colors mm, and it'd be into the realm of green cars as well ah in into the set of all red or green cars yeah interesting not a clue if it is, but I like it. This is linked to the mathematics that we learn, and I think it's linked to the reason why we learn mathematics. It's um, yeah, because this, like the numbers, are a way of generalizing things into an abstract thing. We can, in the same way, generalize functions. Um, the the brilliant example, of course, is uh, the taxi. Is uh, great function because you s get into the taxi uh, costs I don't know 35 I'll be calculating in kroner for your information uh, 35 kroner just for the starting and then it'll maybe be 5 kroner per kilometer and uh, yeah and what's nice about maths is you can then generalize it right set 5 kroner times uh, uh, 5 times x plus 39 that will give us if I just change this window yeah this will mm, at least if you're able to see it <laughs> give us some um, it'll give a function yeah because it allows us to think in general about what you know what a taxi ride would would co uh, would cost yeah so and you don't need to um 
Oh, no, I'll write it over here just so it's easy to read. Mm. Maybe you'll be used to the Y notation. I use the FX, F of X just because I like it. You can use them interchangeably. Interchangeably. Never mind that. Uh, yeah, you can use either. I like just prefer this one. This is this function, yeah. And if you want to go x amount of kilometers, you just put in the amount, you know, and you get out how however much uh, it'll cost you. Yeah. Of course, the always funny thing to notice is that if you put in a zero, if you don't go anywhere, if you just get into the cab, it co it'll cost you. I've written 39. That's really stupid since I'm pretty sure I did 35 over here. No, I did 39. I said 35. I did 39. Deal with it. Yeah, and this way of thinking is very applicable in other situations. If you're buying milk, if you're buying pretty much anything else. Um, yeah. Uh, another good example is uh, if you're going to a bank and want to change, exchange your money, there'll be a starting fee. You have to pay something to in order for them to even bother changing your money I don't know how much it might be 30 kroner I think here in Denmark um, and then you'd get for instance you could change this 5 for a 7.5 and it'd be the exchange rate from kroner to euro or whatever you'd like and the nice thing about functions is of course that they could take minus values this function takes minus values as well and it doesn't make sense if um, if you want to talk about a taxi, because you can't ride a taxi minus kilometers, but you could go into a bank um, wanting to. Yeah, I'll just do it. Yeah, I'll do it. Never mind, I'll do it. This is the bank one. Let's say it's thirty. Uh, not 30. This is 30. So this would be if you want to change from kroner into euro. This might be what the bank would cost. This is the price the bank will take from you, just to in order to change it all. And um, this will be uh, how many euro? No, how many kroner you have to pay for each euro? Yeah. Uh, this is not to scale, of course. It goes up and down a little bit, but. I don't care. I, I only like the maths, part, maths bit of it. Mm, yeah, but then if you went in there and wanted to get some kroner back, which would be minus x, you could you could then figure out how many how much money you'd have to pay them, how many euros you'd have to pay them. Because uh, if I haven't done this wrongly, I'll just put it in here. I know this is hard to read, but I don't care because it's just for my own sake. Still, that's bloody lucky. Nah, I don't want to draw it. Yeah, it looks almost the same. Are very lucky. Uh, yeah, in the basic school in Denmark, they say we learn maths. That's not true. We learn calculations. In gymnasium, at least in Denmark, or at college, university, you learn maths, proper maths. Because, um, and this comes back actually to the reason why we do maths in schools in general. It's not to be able. To, it's not to get good at calculating. Because I mean, sure, that was the argument some years ago, but. We have our phones, we have calculators everywhere. We don't need that. What we need is their way of thinking. Um, yeah. <sighs> it's sort of difficult because you wouldn't, if you went down to the store to get milk, you wouldn't make up a function, you know, uh, 6.5 times x. Uh, you wouldn't make that, you wouldn't actually make that function. Uh, but having the general thought of uh, 
knowing that if I buy one more milk, that'll be the price of one milk added to the, the what I have already. And it doesn't matter if you have 20 liters of milk and buy the 21st liter of milk. It's gonna cost. Th it's gonna add one. The cost of one. It's not gonna add anything else. It's it's linear, isn't it? If you want to say it in math terms. Mm. And that sort of strict s mindset is what's really useful in maths. That it's not gonna suddenly cost you twelve for the next uh, liter of milk. It's it's gonna cost you the same as it always has because it's a specific specific type type of function. Uh, yeah. So if you just hold on to that, doesn't matter. You know, if someone comes adding an extra, will give the same increase in price, no matter how many you've already bought. That's the point. Yeah, the point I'm trying to make. The ability to think, to think strictly about things, and uh, have this whole set of rules that is applicable to the real world. That's that's really the strength. Yeah, doing addition and subtraction and uh, multiplication and division is so. Mm, it's so strong, it's so strong, yeah. Because it works, doesn't it? Uh, the natural numbers, the whole numbers, uh, like, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the minus ones as well, they are so strong for describing describing the world. And, I mean, sh of course, there's many, mo very much more complicated parts of maths that describe even more of the world. Um, but But just that system is actually brilliant for describing a bunch of things. Uh... And I, yeah, I mean that's why it's been used throughout times pretty much. Uh, it's, I think maths is the second oldest science or something like that. Oh well, I think that'll be it for me. I hope that it has been somewhat enjoyable.